a Bigfoot video. Because to me, most of the time it's boring, basic shots, but so important at the same time. So here we go here on Abu 7th, part three. Plugging in the numbers into the rollout calculator. 1.8 rings from max, from pin, sorry. And I'm gonna, not gonna go with a standard two shot view here because there's not enough room and I don't want to be pulling downhill too much. So, my first thought was push the envelope, play the shot view as it is. And a drawback from that is that oftentimes when you set up, uh, shot view is going to change a bit and you're going to have to go back, change the numbers. And you're wasting time doing that. That's why I prefer to go with a fixed shot view usually too sharp and then it's about getting the rollout number and setting up accordingly that is releasing some magic spin to make my shot view a two rings uh, shot view and setting up at the proper distance at the same time now i'm trying to set up at 1.53 if i remember but I see my shot view is a bit longer than one. There we go. It's touching the line. I know it's too much. So one point two to be safe. I got my new number of rollout. So it must be one point eight or something. Disappearing grid. Why the hell do I have an iPhone, right? So I know I need to release some. It's very small and it has to be precise. So that's why I zoom in. Make sure I'm a little bit behind the line because there's a tiny part you don't see. That part, the peeling in, peeling in from behind, that is so crucial. Right here, it happens that I'm already pretty straight, but nine times I'm out of ten. I think I'm straight, but I'm not. So I'm looking for a break here. Ah, not much, right? A tiny bit right to left. Uh, left to right from the other side, so I'm going to favor the left edge of the cup doing my final adjustment. Not too much, just a tiny bit. Double checking the shot view and everything. Well, 2.65, looking at it from a 90 degree, I'll be pulling slightly down slope, but not much there. And one thing I'm going to do here, and something I don't usually like, is feeling that I don't need to adjust for that down slope pull. But keeping it in mind that there might be a little bit, but then going by feel and see, I have a feeling there it's it's going it's a bit downhill, so I'm going to release, and it just so happens that the line kind of it just lines up perfectly, and I'm feeling confident it's the proper shot, and 
it sure looks like it. Another bucket. 